why do I want to be a doctor? I, I remember getting on the plane, Oscar, this is a good idea, this is going to be a big adventure, but then at the, at the next moment I was like, well, are you going to be able to make it? How's your Spanish going to be? How's it going to be living in Spain? I think it was like always, I wanted to study medicine. On your phone texting your parents, hey, I miss you, I'm lonely, you know, texting your friends, because you need that support, but here the support was right there, right in front of you. But I think it's been one of the better decisions I've made in my life. It was scary at first. You're leaving your family behind, your friends behind, completely new place with new people. I had the chance to be really just myself, find myself a little bit more. And I kind of grew up in my mom's lab and I started to see that I, I liked that aspect of being able to help people more directly. As a kid, when they would be telling me stories like, hey, you know, I didn't have any food or this or this happened to my friend or that, it, it always kind of impacted me. I did a lot of sports, so I had a lot of interest in the human body. There's so much negativity in the world, there's so many bad things happening, you know, what can I do to, to help, right, to, to fix it? I got to knew the possibilities in, in, in Navarra and Pamplona that he was international program. <laughs> you know, I found, found the University of Navarra because uh, I, I was looking everywhere. The University of Navarra is, is a good place. France, Italy, I looked at the UK, States, Caribbean, you know. You never feel alone, you always feel uh, in contact with, with other people. And eventually I found Navarra, and the University of Navarra is really well known, especially throughout Europe. International program, we are, were just um, 70 people. To have US teachers, well those classes were excellent, they were some of my favorite classes. But the main thing was the emphasis on practical knowledge. Having a uh, simulation department helps a lot. Third year students spend the entire year in the hospital. Like I still refresh the page sometimes to make sure like is this, is this still happening? Like you know because it, it's huge, it's amazing. It's more like a bigger friend group and you get to know the other people easily so I felt uh, pretty established very fast. And I've I felt more comfortable, like adapting to this new experience. After I graduated from high school, I didn't know where it's Spanish. I maybe knew hola, and that was it. And after a total of three months, I had a B2. I'm much more comfortable with Spanish now. I thought my Spanish was worse than it is. Obviously, I'm still not 100% comfortable, especially when people use slang or like tell jokes. I just kind of like, <laughs> yeah. The Spanish level is very low but it's going to improve very fast. You catch on really, really quickly. Another big fear, not only the language was, am I going to meet new friends? You make a lot of friends in the first few weeks and you guys are all going through it together. And you know everybody in your, in your area. Everybody's like, hey, let's, let's go out. Let's, let's come, let's do something. You know what, I'm feeling some, some pinchos. Let's go get pinchos. It's easy, it's easy to make friends. And during the first day, um, People directly approached me that it was like a big campus like you would expect from the United States. I made good friends with many of the medical students in my class and at the same time I was meeting people from the communication department, law school and all that. I appreciate the humanities courses that we've had. The subjects like ethics and the core subjects. We talk a lot about empathy, human treating and I think it's very important. I don't think I want to come back to Canada to work, but if I do, and then I have that door closed and I can't get back in, and my guidance counselor told me, the people with the capacity for success will be successful. If I want to go back to the US, I'll be able to get through it. I'll have everything I need to be able to do that process and to get a job there. If you're a smart person, if you put in the effort, if you learn the material, you'll be fine regardless of where you studied or where you apply. My relation with my mentor is really good. We met a lot of times. Those doctors were also very available outside of class to answer any questions we had. Professor was very uh, passionate about medicine. They really try and foster that, that kind of curiosity. So you have a direct connection to a professor which helps you. After second year, uh, we had a summer course. Uh, it was in Rome. So we went to London, we had classes, and in the afternoon and at night, uh, we went out, we went to see the city. I have been practicing fencing since I was 10, and it's a really important part of my life. Here at the university, I started playing paddle. 
the university offers uh, paddle classes as well. The University of Navarre offered me an option of Talento Deportivo, the sports program. I could uh, keep practicing fencing um, without interfering with my studies. My family and my friends are always there. I finished my exams and my mom says, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of Skype calls. They are not so emotional. I don't, I don't think my relationship with my parents decreased or, or like I don't feel as close. Very surprising. Sometimes you have to see where life takes you. I'm from Germany. I was born in Munich. I come from St. Petersburg, Russia. I'm from Bethesda, Maryland. I'm from uh, Mississauga, Ontario, which is part of the greater Toronto area. I'm miles away from St. Petersburg, but it's worth it. I'm thousands of miles away from DC, but I think it's been worth it. Despite I'm miles away from Hamburg, it's worth it. I'm a thousand miles away from Toronto, but it's all worth it.